Welcome back, folks, to more Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. As you can see, me and KV are now inside a facility hallway, heading towards Dimitri's lab, and... It looks like a submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. Okay, something. <laughs> uh, a very rusty and green and dilapidated submarine. I don't mean the submarine. It's going to sink. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about wandering through here, considering the tunnel itself didn't look like it was in good conditions, too. So, <laughs> but uh, I don't. we're definitely not in a submarine, that's for sure. At least according to the map at the top. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, let's see. We are looking for hit coins in this room before we continue on and talk to this professor. You're not gonna talk to that guy. Why are you just getting these hint coins, Layton? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you're both of these guys, to be honest. I think you picked up every scientist. I don't remember <laughs> picking... I don't remember taking I don't any scientist. This guy at all. I what don't... is the meaning of this, forest? Who are these people? But yeah, I don't remember taking any of the scientists. <laughs> I think you took them all. This is the real Professor Layton, Cutford. The real Professor Layton? What does that even mean? <laughs> I am, uh, uh, look, you know later, but we don't really have the time to go into that right now. All you do now is for uh, that these people have they, have, they have, they've come to help us. You need to know that. They're here to help us out for good. <laughs> you do want to get back to our own time in the past, don't you? Home? I'd do anything to go back, but how can I help, Professor? I have to find Dimitri, the man who's been using my name. I hear he's in the central research room. Where is that? You're close. It's just a ways down this corridor. Wow, I still can't believe you're the real Professor Layton. Imagine that. As I recall, you were rather surprised to see me the last time we met as well. Ah, yes, you'll have to excuse me. I had no way of knowing who I was talking with. You, you really? I don't know, I think the difference between him and the imposter are pretty obvious, Cuthbert, yeah. but sure. Anyhow, there'll be time for chat later. You should get a move on before you're spotted. Mostro and his goons came through here saying that there were intruders in the building. You don't have much time. What? But how did he manage to spot us so quickly? I should have known. We probably tripped the infinite sensor at some point. No sense in standing around, Layton. Let's go. I can talk to this guy. He doesn't give me anything. I just want to talk to him. Professor, I've got to get out of here and find a way back to my own time. Don't let me down. The central research room is just down the hallway here. Hurry before the gods spot you. Thank you both. I'll take it from here. Okay. I just wanted to see if he said anything. All right. He did. He said, help. And help. Professor Lane said, yes. <laughs> this is a very interesting door. Am I hitting this door? I am hitting this door. I was like, was there any side puzzles too or no? Okay. This door appears to lead to the central research room. I sure hope Dimitri is in there. Well, Luke, I'm sure glad Dimitri's in there, and we're out here, and that he's frozen, and that I'm the sheriff, and... What? <laughs> uh, are you alright, Professor? <laughs> what I would just like to know, Luke, is where is the caveman? <laughs> I don't get... I don't know this reference, I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's the Scooby-Doo reference, oh, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm reminded of watching GDQ recently, and they did a speedrun of Scooby-Doo game, actually. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they did speedrun. Will... It was very late at night when they did it. Well, I hope that they were in there, and that they were and they were out there, and that he's the sheriff, and... <laughs> As do I. You heard him talk to us before, Luke. He can still be reasoned with. I'm sure of it. Well, our first challenge is to get this door open. It's got some strange lock on it. Another puzzle, no doubt. Dimitri wishes to test the intelligence of all those who enter the lab. 
Which means those two scientists I don't believe ever entered the lab. God, I haven't seen Scooby-Doo in so long, though. What is this? This looks amazing! <laughs> Let's read. The orange plus sign shown is the top left corner below... Wait, okay, sorry. The orange plus sign shown in the top left corner below is hidden somewhere on the green grid. Ooh. It's the exact same size and shape. Can you find it? Draw lines around with your stylus, then tap submit. Ooh. Can I move these? No, I can't. I was wondering. Ooh. Interesting puzzle. Oh, how is this working? Hmm. See, I thought the pieces would move, but they don't, so I'm just kind of like... I thought so, too. They don't, so now I'm intrigued. Is it like one of those split things where, like, only parts of it is part of the puzzle? It's part of the... Oh, my God. Why is the stylus so stupid? Okay, well, I looked at the first hint. The shape is not hidden in plain sight. It can be hard to find because of the contrasting patterns, but it's definitely there. Look very closely. Oh, 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 the frickin... <laughs> is that what this game wanted? Is that what this Let's puzzle? See. No, nope, that's not no, what I wanted. even that's even not what better. I where the heck does it? Oh my, where the heck? Go, go back. I mean, it is it, the it, same. It, it, it is the same shape. Oh god, this game. No, 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 no. no. Wait. Yes. Okay. Wait. No. No, you're fine. You're fine. Keep going. That, that's oh, it. That doesn't look. Oh, it doesn't look it's, correct it's a, it's because a, the, it's an illusion. the angle. Yep. Yeah, it's it's an opt it's like an optical kind of illusion thing because the, mm -hmm. the 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 freaking the the two the two the left the left side and the bottom the one is throwing piece. you off. Yeah. Yeah, the, the long piece looks like it takes up more, but it doesn't. Oh, I feeling about this one. Well, there goes my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I suspected. It seems still, so easy. I still feel like my other answer was still right, too. God. I mean... But that wasn't the same shape and size. It was too big. There we are. The door's lock seems to have disengaged. Put it right there! It's Boistro! Oh! Oh, they brought the gold! <laughs> What? Wait, why is the fake way in there, too? Lame man is there! <laughs> Oh! Oh, it's voice. Okay, gotcha. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh. We're trapped! <laughs> I, I, me. Oh? I like that. They all shoot Claire? a bunch of guns. Layton. Oh, is unfazed. Oh, she's not. What is with this game where it's like everything's voice and then it suddenly just stops? Through here, everyone! <laughs> Just the ball's foot. <laughs> Who? I, I I just I just want to point out the fact I love that they all show off guns. Lane's reaction is, "Oh, this is a minor inconvenience." <laughs> <laughs> just they're just guns. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that was way too close. My heart's still racing. Who are you? Ah. Well, that was voice. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. You're Professor Layton, are you not? Claire? Is it you? No. I'm Celeste, her younger sister. I've been trying to uncover what really happened to Claire. That's so! I, I didn't know she had a sister, but cool. I know she was quite fond of you, Professor. Hmm. She also really liked the game Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> The Igniamic Wooden is none other than Claire's younger sister, Celeste. She has come to the future London to learn the circumstances of her sister's death and is following Professor Layton with the belief that it will uncover the truth. Makes or, sense. You know, or, or she could, like, maybe she lives in the future. Like That's a possibility. Yeah. We never determined how young she was. Maybe this plays back to that puzzle from earlier when it was determining the age. <laughs> She's ten, she was like 10, ten nine years younger or something like that. Yep. <laughs> uh. You're Claire's 
younger sister? It's uncanny how much you look like her. Maybe they were twins. We've crossed paths several times in the city, haven't we? Strange. Claire never mentioned having a sister. It's my biggest regret that we spent the last years of her life estranged from each other. Forgive me for not getting in touch with you earlier, Professor. I wanted to, but I was afraid it might bring unwanted attention from the family on both of us. For our own safety, I decided it was best to avoid contact with you at the time. I see. Logical? <clears throat> You've cared dearly for your sister to come to a place like this in search of the truth. Oh, Don. <laughs> Well, to be honest, I haven't been running in I haven't been running my own investigation so much as the professors. But why? Your reputation. They say the great Professor Layton can solve any puzzle, right? I figured if anyone could get to the bottom of what happened that day, it would be you. Teles, on the day of the explosion I Ah, are we in trouble now? Oh no! The family will be here any second! We've got to run! Ah! Now is my time to shine! No one makes a grand escape like Don Paolo! Oh right, now I remember what I wanted to say about Celeste. So, I quite enjoy Celeste with the music and everything, but... I was never a fan of- I'm not very good at platforming games. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that, that, I, I, I love platforming Every... games, and Celeste the game is too hard for me. Oh really? Yeah. I, I hear so many people say, like, Celeste is so, like, it's such a it's good... It's not as bad as stuff like Meat Boy, but that particular genre of platformer is not something I like. Oh, I see. Because I feel like I feel like people were saying that Celeste is, like, one of those, like, platformers that, like, doesn't really punish you that hard if you fail, basically. Oh, no, it doesn't punish you that badly, but it is a matter of basically having to redo the same things over and over and over gotcha. again. And that can get very grating very fast. Yeah. Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> I I have much respect for the game and what it's brought, yeah. but, like, I'm bad at platformers. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've been in the game, and I was like, you know, it was fun, but it's definitely not my kind of thing. I like the music, so... Oh, yeah, it's good music. Our group is too large to move quickly. We need to split up. I can agree more, Celeste. I shall show you to the safety myself. Lighten handle the children. Because he's so great at doing that. And the bird. <laughs> Celeste, wait. There's still so much we need to discuss. Aha! Found ya! Professor... This town has kept a secret from you so large, it defies the imagination. The answer to everything lies in the old father's embrace. It is there we will meet next. Huh? A hint. Got it. Go embrace the dad. <laughs> <laughs> we need to leave this facility immediately. And then the music suddenly just stopped. Okay, that's weird. Right, Tom Paul. Oh no, it's like completely stopped. Uh, let me check. Hello? Huh, that's weird. Did the sound I... is cut out, or? Did I? There, oh! Ah. Uh, In-game was... HUD available. <laughs> well, thankfully it doesn't, I don't think it showed up on the recording, thankfully. Okay. Uh, that was weird, but I got the sound yeah. back up again. I was like, okay. what? I can make it louder? Is that too loud for you? No, it's fine. Okay. Phew, I'm, I'm gonna make it a little louder because I do notice that the recording, the music in the background is too soft, but it's like we're talking over it, so I didn't really yeah. do anything about it, so we can work with this and see how it goes. Phew, I can't believe the three of us made it out of here, out of there in one piece. Well, don't let your guard down, Luke. We're not out of the woods yet. And technically, there were four of us. We forgot to count Rock. <laughs> Poor Rock. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the last thing Celeste said to us. Is this voice or have to read it? Everything lies in the old father's embrace. It is there we will meet next. I was like, do I have to read this or is it just going to give the recording? Okay, gotcha. 
Did you hear that, Duke? You need to go talk to your father again. The mist was clearly trying to give us a hint as to our next rendezvous point. Oh, of course. She used a code to hide our meeting place from the family. But what could that code possibly mean? Think of it as a puzzle, Luke. Though I suspect the answer to this puzzle will be much more than our next meeting place. I'd wager that it's also the family's secret headquarters and where Dimitri's been hiding. This wasn't the secret headquarters! <laughs> find out where this place is. Luke, do you remember seeing a flyer for a restaurant named the Thames Arms on the way here? Is that the father's embrace? That's where Celeste will be waiting for us. Ah, the, the arms, arms of the river. I get it. Well, Luke, have you ever heard of Old Father Thames? There we go. Rivers yep. are often personified in folklore and literature, and the River Thames is no exception. When Celeste said that the answer lies in the Old Father's embrace, the father... She meant go talk to your dad. Old Father Thames. <laughs> Get it? And that guy scares me. In someone's arms. In this case, the arms of the Thames. That's that's old Father Thames for you. He's, He's very angry. Me. He's very angry about what you're doing to his river, I guess. Well, it's London. It's probably polluted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Dad. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I've been thinking, Professor. About what, Luke? About who? About how you, Dimitri, and Don Paolo all have a personal tie to poor Claire. And all of you seem to question the circumstances surrounding her death. Celeste as well. Why do I get the feeling that many of the mysteries here lead back to that explosion? Hmm. Another flashback? The explosion that killed Claire didn't just level the lab she walked in. By the time I caught word of the accident and ran to the sites, the whole place was in flames. An apartment building next to the lab had also been destroyed by the blast. The entire area was devastated. Looking upon that scene, I knew that Claire was lost to me forever. And I wasn't the only one who lost something that day. Many others were wounded or lost loved ones. To this day, I still remember a child I met wandering the streets, wailing for his lost parents. For some time after the incident, I was in a state of shocked grief. But, when I came back to my senses, I noticed something curious. Despite the scale of the damage, there was no follow-up coverage here. Not one word of the incident was printed or broadcast following the initial reports. I knew the only way I'd get answers about what happened that day was to run my own investigation. I immediately set to work researching Claire's lab and the scientists she had worked with. Gee, I wonder who that blurred scientist in the background is. Carl Fredrickson from Up. No! I, please let it not be Carl Fredrickson, okay? <laughs> I love Carl Fredrickson. <laughs> During my investigation, I learned that the powerful political forces had suppressed the reports on the blast. Jesus! Mmm. It was right after the discovery that I was viciously assaulted. My injuries were so severe, I was unconscious for a month. I was lucky to be alive. Uh, yeah! That's like a coma! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I returned home to find my flat torn apart. The majority of information I'd gathered on the case had been stolen. That explosion was no ordinary accident. Someone with incredible political clout was involved. And this person abused his or her power to keep any facts about the event from ever coming to light. I tried to dig back into the case several times. 
but it was of no use. Each time I tried to make headway, I was met with resistance and threats of violence. Claire has lost me forever, I know that, but I must know the truth of what happened that day. It's a feeling I'm sure Don Paulo and Celeste share as well. Okay. Well, well I was not expecting that. That, that I'm completely new to. I did not know about this part of the plot. Well, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Has that put some pieces together for you? A little bit. Uh, I mean, part of it, I was like, when he mentioned a certain person, I was like, oh, I know who that person is. And the rest of it was like, oh, geez, this is pretty dark. Holy crap. Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you think Dimitri knows the truth? Dimitri and perhaps one other person. And that's the other person I know. Who else do you mean, Professor? Everything will be made clear of the Thames Arms. Let's go. Anyways, back to this music. <laughs> oh, Jesus! I... I am lost. Oh my god, that actually scared me. It's, it's, it's the, music. <laughs> the, the the banging noise that they made actually scared me there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, hey, it's him again. Oh, hey. Eek! Don't worry, you weren't the only one. Oh, god. Flora, are you okay? Yeah, go ahead, comrades. I was just intention to... I was my intention to scare you, young Fraulein. Pavel! What are you doing down here? I was exploring the area and then somehow wound up lost here. It lost uh, today, today lost. Today's lost. <laughs> <laughs> doing some tunnel exploration like you were talking about before, I take it. Da. Earlier in my quest to find the tunnels, I mentally wandered on the subway tracks. That little. The Alger put me in a great peril, but danger is part and parcel of exploring Il Mondo, no? Oh my god, Pavel. <laughs> His text is just too much. Mm. I get what they're going for, but this is too he, much. He, he speaks many languages and he just mixes them all together. Yep. So I was like, oh, hey, I know that word. I know that word. I don't know that word. I know this word. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Naturalmente. Most of my travel woes would have could have been avoided if my compass hadn't gone kaput. Though I think this map might be able to show me the way to go. Could it help? Could it say? <laughs> could it say? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just really weird to see that in, like, actual, like, Roman thought. <laughs> I, ap I apologize, Pavel, but you need to put a T before you do that could it say. Please use the appropriate T form. <laughs> I'll the put your tay in your form. <laughs> <laughs> you could also do Nye Day, but I don't think you want to be asking us no. not to hit them. <laughs> yes, I don't think Nye Day works there. Anyway. <laughs> Below is a chart with a cardinal direction written in each square. The top of the chart, however, isn't necessarily north. Okay. When looking at the chart from the proper orientation, you can start at... Uh, at a certain square and moving in a direction written in the each square pass over all the squares on the chart. Which side A, B, D, C, or D is north? Oh, in, moving in a direction written in each square pass over all of the squares. And which side? Oh, I don't. What the frick? Uh, well, I can't keep going east, so. Nope. Okay, well, what does this... But what? remember, it's not necessarily that the paper is on the correct orientation to begin with, so you could also flip it to have the be slightly different. That's what I was reading from it, at least. Alright, well, I'm going to tell you right now the answer is C. Okay. <laughs> uh, I got the thing right. It's just more or less the case of now we got to flip it, and I'm like, my head hurts trying to figure, trying to flip it. So, you know what? The answer is C. I had the right directions, as you can see. It was just more the case of, my head hurts. <laughs> That's true. I, I like his face. 
어? 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 That is that was that's a that's that's a lot. <laughs> oh my uh, god! Uh, I just realized the double gracias there too. Yes, it's like, yeah. Uh, I, I was I was torn on the I was cracking up the Mysterious song. No, right there, there's so also Domo is, gracias too, and I'm yeah. just like, oh, this that, is so it, much. It reminds me of a state of a of a, a phrase I used to say, which was me saying sorry in a slightly sarcastic way, which turned out to be los gomenos, <laughs> where I just. <laughs> mishmash them so badly <laughs> okay pavo i i like you you're on my wavelength maybe not the same wavelength but you're on a similar wavelength oh for those different frequency <laughs> thanks to you i can now continue my travels <laughs> oh god do you be careful out there monsieur son <laughs> Oh, that's so much. <laughs> he, just, he just stands there in the like, water. Okay, bye. Back. I know, right? <laughs> now that we're topside again, I think it's finally safe to say we've given the family the slip. Things got rather chaotic back there, Floa. Are you feeling all right? Not too shaken? Just fine, Professor. But I'm very glad I had you both with me. Professor, the Dems Arms is just a little way up the road here. Let's go meet up with Celeste. Ah, yes, I do believe tonight is a media shower. Aww. <laughs> Freaking Celeste never visits my village enough, man. I, <laughs> I just... Ugh. Anyway, uh, this is a very short chapter, by the way. <laughs> Eleven is very I short. Tell. I can tell. Yeah, we're really picking up speed. This is the last chapter. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, this, well, is uh, the... he... this is it. We are... Hold def... it! What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Overall, this is the wrong game, Professor. <laughs> I am still doing the pose. <laughs> uh, this is the last chapter, so I have the suspicion we'll probably finish next weekend from the looks of it. Like, okay. we have a lot of. Well, we, we, we still have time to go through this, but I'm very sure we'll finish the next, uh, next oh, weekend yeah. on this. No, I, I, I believe you on that. Anyway, what hello. Ah, uh, Layton, any breakthroughs in your investigation? Possibly. I'm very glad to see you. I need you to come with me to the Thames Arms. The Thames Arms? An investigation of the premises revealed scrumptious smells, sir. <laughs> Barton, keep quiet for just a minute, will you? What exactly is so amazing at the Thames Arms that I need to head there this instant? I make no promises. But it's likely that what happens there will lead you to the Prime Minister. Really now? Hmm. Well, my interest is piqued, but there's the matter of this blasted <laughs> puzzle. <laughs> I'd love to go there, but I have this puzzle, and man, if I don't solve this puzzle, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the feeling I got when he said that. <laughs> ah, what's puzzle? The one in this letter I found. I have a feeling it could have some bearing on my case. Does it? Would you mind if I had a look at that, Inspector? I, I can't. Well, let's find out. Does it have a bearing on the case? Where's the arrow? I don't think it does. <laughs> this does not look like it has a bearing on the case whatsoever. Nope. There's a treasure hidden below one of the tiles in this room. The only clue is a handwritten note. Follow the arrow to find it. Which tile should you... A uh, lift to find the circle, a uh, treasure, <laughs> to find the circle, which is the treasure. Draw a circle around it with your stylus. Okay, uh, where's the arrow? Where indeed? Here. See, my gut instinct is to think that splotch on the ground is the arrow, in which case it'd be that white tail above the X. But I don't, I don't know. The answer is no, but okay. also, uh. It's 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 definitely an oh. arrow. <laughs> it's definitely an arrow. No, that's a face. You lie. That's a face. <laughs> that's a face. Uh, this time it's Dracula. Why is Dracula in pair in the it's a tropics monkey. right now? I don't know. Wait, it's a oh, monkey. I thought it. I thought it was Dracula. Okay. <laughs> 
Monkey Dracula? <laughs> Monkey Dracula. The trick. With palm trees. Meh. Well, that settles. Well, that settles. That, I'm glad it's settled, Layton. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say, Inspector, but this letter doesn't appear to have any relevance to your case. But it does look like Dracula. <laughs> oh, it's a monkey, Professor. Oh, I'm just... quite certain that it is Dracula, actually. But look, it is in a tropical island and it has a banana. It's a monkey. Dracula does like bananas and is also known to go on vacation, if you read from the great Bram Stoker novel. Uh, anyway! <laughs> oh, just wonderful! Another perspective lead fizzles out. I'm at my wit's end, I tell you. I'm at my wit's end about your Dracula tropical banana picture. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever you got to show me at the Thames Arm, it has to be more useful than that letter. Well, I can assure you it is not Dracula. <laughs> All right, off we go. It's the bunny rabbit. We're gonna walk past the bunny rabbit. Hey, it's older Luke. It's been a while. What's up, buddy? What you been up to? I'm glad we finally met up with each other. Where did you run off to? I was doing a little investigation, a little investigating on my own, shadowing a suspicious woman I'd seen in town. I saw her tailing you around town and decided someone needed to figure out who she was. Oh. You must be talking about Celeste. Luke, don't say that. Luke does not have a filter, man. <laughs> Where did you last see her? I lost her at one point, but I just saw her again heading into this restaurant. Seconds later, I saw a friend of ours head in as well. Oh, let me guess. Don Paulo. Luke, I am going to turn this puzzle around right now if you don't <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder why I even bother explaining. You guys seem to know it all already. <laughs> well, we've been hard at work getting to the heart of the case, too. Excellent. I figured you two wouldn't just wait idly for me to return. So, now what? All the players in our mystery are here. I think it's time we met back up with Celeste. Everyone is here. Players in our mystery. What's the professor getting at? Hmm, find out. Uh, now, actually. I was about to say find <laughs> out in the next video, but I'm like, no. Oh, oh no. and Burn are here, too. Oh, my God. This is a full party right now. You know what? We're going to take this entire puzzle. What? The entire puzzle? The entire party. The entire puzzle. Yes, we're taking the entire party to do puzzles now. Also, JK, we might have to wait until the next video to do that because we're doing puzzles now, so. <laughs> Imagine if Goku didn't throw a spirit bomb, but a spirit puzzle. <laughs> and the only way to get out of that puzzle, to, to, to defuse that spirit bomb, was to solve the puzzle. You gotta do it in five seconds, or else yeah, you die. Yeah, Goku would fail horribly. <laughs> well, he's not the one- he's the one making the puzzle. He's not the one who's uh, doing the puzzle. Oh, then the bad guy would win, because Goku is bad at making puzzles. I don't think he could, like, make a- Dang it. Yeah, I, yeah, I was gonna say. I didn't plan through. <laughs> I don't think, uh, I think the villains would have an easy time. <laughs> hey, why are you folks back here? Didn't I tell you this place isn't safe for your kind? We appreciate the warning, sir, but you needn't worry. We'll keep an eye out for danger. Yeah, so spoilers, we will probably have to wait until the next video for that whole reveal. Because <laughs> we're horrible oh. people. <laughs> anyway. Well, at least you're trying to be cautious. Sorry if I get to the worked up there. Tell you what, you let me make it up to you with a puzzle. To be quite honest, sir, I have been looking for the bathroom. Could you tell us where that is first? <laughs> if there are the bathrooms exist in Leighton, find out. <laughs> Below are two necklaces. A gold one on the left and a silver one on the right. By sliding the blocks around, can you get them to switch sides? Oh, it's oh, it's yes. one. Of, yes, you can. Oh, um, I'm not the one playing the game, so I don't have to figure out how. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I have a guide, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> We're just gonna get right through this because we are short on time. So pardon me for you know using a guide to get through this, or else we're gonna be here for a very long time. 
24 hours later. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh yep. I think we're going on the way the run to do. God, they're really determined to get this thing down there. Okay, well, we want this thing, and you want to go up with this thing, and then we want to go... Uh, this way? Okay. Oh, we're... Okay, we're just really getting that piece of drool down there. <laughs> it's gotta be stuffed down here, and otherwise it's not okay. Yeah, apparently not. Who's that guy in the bottom corner? What's his story? Maybe we'll find out someday. <laughs> uh, I lost my train of thought. There we go. I lost my place in this in this cheat. And now for KV's ultimate strategy: distraction. No. <laughs> oh God, we'd be here for hours. Uh. Okay. I just want to know who that guy is. He looks like a cool dude. Maybe he's daydreaming about the who he gave the necklace to and he's missing them or something? No, he's going, Wow, there are two giant necklaces in the sky. <laughs> Why are they shifting around like that? I just don't know. It, it's just planes doing tricks. Don't worry about it. Those don't look like no planes I've ever seen. Not to mention, I don't think I've ever seen a plane since I moved here. That's... Hmm... I was about to make a joke and then decided not to. <laughs> Cause you know, why wouldn't there be planes right now? No. <laughs> Are there planes in the Professor Uni Layton universe? Uh, I'm going to assume yes because they've already gone to space. Okay. Also, also the crossover confirmed planes exist, so I'm kind of like, oh, okay. I know like. Professor Lane, the crossover game is kind of not canon per se, but like, the, this it uses Unwound... elements from the two games to say, hey, this is what happens in our world. Yeah, also like Unwound Future confirmed they went to space because there was a speech at the beginning about going into space. So like, I'm assuming yes, planes exist. Uh, if anything, I know like you know the single flight, the flight, the wooden ones are around at least. I know I've seen them. Okay. This is a long, this is a long puzzle. Aren't you glad? Yeah, for, yeah. Aren't you glad that I'm do like have a guide for this because we're already on like forty movement speeds here. Jesus. Yeah, we're on move forty two. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy about that. But if I had this in my own hands, yeah, I would not if we were look at the guide. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and I didn't I'm have to. Crazy. Yeah, if it, well, I mean, I would have just done this because this is an easy puzzle, like to just do because there's like. There's no there's no penalty for taking too long or anything like that, but also like I don't I can't do it in this in this format. But what if there was a penalty? Oh god. Dun dun dun. Oh god. Okay, and think there we go. 50 50 movements. Wait, uh, wait. You got to move them all up. Gotcha. 53 movements. Got a good feeling about this one. <laughs> That's a lot of movement. The shortest movement is 53, but I, I did a dumb, so... 50, I mean, sorry. <laughs> oh. That's a lot of movements for a single piece of music. Don't uh... do that many movements for a song. That's gonna be <laughs> like four hours long, and the percussionists will be fine. But the bass players and the brass players are gonna hate you. On second thoughts, with brains like yours, I think you two will manage just fine out here. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. I'm just gonna see if we, how, if we can just do all the puzzles now, so that way, like, when we get back in, immediately we'll just go to the Thames. That'd be great. Uh, um, Professor, uh, do, do explain to me why we're back here in Chinatown. Puzzles! Are we here to have some delicious food? <laughs> oh, Barton. <laughs> nope, we're passing all the food, sorry. <laughs> Will you do your puzzles? Maybe the inspector and I. Ah, this is a new guy. It's gonna clean. See, I've got your startling vision of your future. Yibbity jibbity. Yibbity jibbity. You what scared me. <laughs> you scared me. Who are you, anyhow? 
2019 is Mazzano saying, uh, gift of the power of today's voice. Sadly, it's also my button. See? You mean you can see into the future? You got it. Not a the whole future, of course, but snapshots of the people in the future, see? Here, let me show you. Unsure. See the line of trains heading down? I bet I can exa guess exactly which station that, that complete stranger is going to get off the train at. Which train, which train is the stranger riding? A, B, C, or D? <laughs> I bet I can guess what station they're getting off at. Okay, great. Then just tell us. I... What is... Uh... Okay. I'm... I... There. <laughs> The answer is D. I can't. This puzzle's just. This one's as good as soul. I bet I can tell you. Okay, tell us. No, you have to tell me. So, uh, Mars, but... this guy has multiple puzzles, by the way. Oh boy. Yeah. Actually, I think I'll just stop here because I, my head's already hurting dealing with this. <laughs> <laughs> what? How'd you know that? Holy smokes! You're the power too, kid. Oh no, I'm not saying into the future, it's just a simple matter of... In here I thought I was the only one. I'm so glad there's someone else in the world like me, see? Someone else who understands the terrible and awesome gift bestowed upon us. I don't think he's listening to you anymore, Duke. Let's leave him be. Yeah, unfortunately we're not gonna leave him be because he has more Let's puzzles. Let's not leave him be. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has more puzzles, but... I don't think I want to deal with it. I think we want to give us some time to actually think about some of these puzzles that he's working with. So we'll That's save that fair. for the next video. And probably, I don't think we'll finish in the next video per se. I think it might take two more videos to get to that end, but uh, we'll see. Thanks for dropping in, guys, and we'll see you then. And that last puzzle sucks. Yeah, Bye. It yeah, it did. No, it, it really did. <laughs>